to the farm every day, just in case y'all are wondering. <laughs> Hanging with my creepy crawly friends again today. But I mean, if that's the entrance to get to this thing over here, totally worth it. A couple bugs don't hurt. <laughs> Check it out, everybody. 7230. I don't know if you can even see it. It's pretty dark in here. Um, but we'll get it outside for you guys soon here, and we're going to be starting to work on it. We got high moisture corn coming up um, this week, actually. So probably tomorrow, if things go well today working on the actual combine itself, go through the rundown of everything, and um, the head. Might do some greasing because that's gotta get done. I'm thinking we'll do it today. Overall look at everything, check out all the bonnets, check the chains, check the deck plates, check bolts, check levels of everything. Cause yeah, we haven't used it yet. But it is the last day of September right now. In case anybody is wondering, it's September 30th. Ah, so yeah, this is just right around the corner, literally, corner here, no, <laughs> but probably tomorrow. Fan up there, got the spreaders in the back for the straw there. Again, not the best lighting, so maybe do this in a different video, but kind of inside the combine there. Concaves, rotor, all that jazz right in there. I'll show you that, um, like the threshing, threshing part of the combine, but the shields are still on. I'll show you that maybe in a different video or this one, stay tuned. Um, the front of the combine as it sits here in the shed. It's still, every year I look at this and it's like, how, how does this fold? It amazes me, but I, yeah, love it. Super nice to transport. Don't have to drop the head, can just drive field to field with it like this. And it's a 12 row, in case I didn't clarify that. Drago Series 2, love it, love it. Here we got a little better lighting. Again, being it is a flagship, um, there's a lot to it. A lot of hoses going on here. <laughs> I kind of just want to go up here already. Uh, <laughs> just sitting in, up in here without it even on. My heart is just so excited. <laughs> are we right now? Well, we are on top of the combine. This is the hopper, everybody, and just in case you don't know that, but this is where the grain goes in when we are actually combining. But right now, Dad is getting things set to actually fold the extensions down. We are doing this today because we're taking the combine in the shop and it does not fit with it like this, ready, field ready. So we have to take it down in order to get it in the shop.
it gets mighty close here as the door for our shop is 24 feet wide and 14 feet high. Barely fits. As you can see there, Dad dropped the oil. Dun, 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 dun. Backed it out of the shed, drove it really slow. Uh, <laughs> and then we pulled it from the barn. Dad folded the extensions down there. That's what that was about. And then we backed it up into the shop. Barely fits. Uh, <laughs> and he actually had to remove that top piece to flip that top shield up. So, yeah, kind of crazy, but we got it in. Alrighty. Little update on the bean situation. It's getting very close to go time. We're a little bit worried with the beans getting a little too dry. Um, the top ones are a little bit needing time. The bottom ones are getting dry, but we'll see. I'm on hitch pin duty, but moving equipment around. Sabine Head Macdon FD seventy five. Gotta start the 245 up. <laughs> gotta go to the thousand PTO. We're just changing things over, getting everything set for the grain cart. Put grease on them every time, but it's still 40 degrees.
now, everybody. Any guesses what we're doing? I think the pressure should be on the other end. Putting the covers on the cleaning augers here, the tri sweep, and the elevator. They're warm if you're gonna leave them in there. <laughs> Dad got it all closed up and then realized the light's still in there. <laughs> Next on the list is changing out the concaves. So we started with large wire everywhere, but we're putting round bars in, three round bars we have. So one large wire is gonna stay on the back left, the rest are gonna be round bar. This here is a large wire. And these are the round bars. We'll be trying out different concaves though, so stay tuned. How heavy do you think that is, Dad? It's a few pounds. A few pounds. <laughs> bad as you almost heard the one big solid gun here. Mm -hmm. What does it read? 46, 46 pounds. Yeah. I would have thought more. That's still heavy enough. Well, I didn't think it would be 100 pounds because you didn't carry it one-handed. Right. Pretty decent. 46. Forty forty seven. Uh, maybe a little pound heavier than the round bar. Huh. of these a couple of these don't want to go in so 
Got to push down on it here. Learning from my favorite, my dad. Well, everybody, this is how we're going to start high moisture corn. We got on the left side the large wire and back round bar in front there, and this is the right side two round bars. <laughs> 